Hi there, I'm Marie Ferrandi, the Member of Parliament for Parkdale High Park. And this week's COVID Community Champion is an organization that does incredible work year-round and has helped to protect women and children fleeing domestic violence in our community for the past 27 years, the Redwood. If you aren't familiar with the Redwood, they're not only a shelter and a safe haven for women and children, but they're also a social justice organization dedicated to a number of causes, eradicating gender-based violence, tackling the issue of homelessness and poverty among women and children fleeing abuse, and removing barriers for persons with disabilities, as well as upholding core values of anti-racism and anti-oppression to ensure equitable access to their services for everyone. While calls by public health officials for people to stay home during this pandemic was definitely the right thing to do to slow the spread of COVID-19, sadly this made the Redwood and its services more critical than ever over the past several months, as many domestic violence victims found themselves trapped inside their own homes with their abusers without reprieve. As expected, the Redwood, under the leadership of their tremendous executive director, Abby Ajibalade, has risen to the occasion. Another reason why I chose to highlight the Redwood as a COVID community champion is because of their work raising awareness and bringing to light another pernicious public health threat, namely anti-Black racism and systemic discrimination. Over these past few months, the Redwood has used its platform and its online presence to help drive discussions about anti-Black racism, about discrimination against trans and LGBTQ2S communities, about anti-Indigenous racism, systemic racism and discrimination, and in addition to its ongoing social justice work against gender-based violence. All of this work at the Redwood continues, even as many social media feeds have moved on from participating in the critical discussions we still need to be having about systemic racism and discrimination since the widespread protests in Canada and the United States have become less frequent. If you want to help support the Redwood and the incredible work they're doing in our community, they're currently recruiting volunteers to work as children's tutors, to work as ESL tutors, and volunteers to help support their idetermine.ca crisis chat or text resource. You can visit theredwood.com to learn more about how you can get involved. Again, thank you to Abby and the entire team at the Redwood for continuing your critical work during the pandemic for women and children while also working to tackle the public health threat that systemic racism presents. Thank you for being a COVID community champion.